It's time again for another wild adventure in the wild. Join wild nature as we delve into the world of the eagle. Kindly like and subscribe for amazing adventure stories from the wild. Behold the kingly eagle, ruler of the skies, whether soaring over the Alaskan tundra or the stunning Dolomite mountains. In the US, eagles are the national symbol and Alaska is their crowning glory. The Chilkat River in southern Alaska is the prime eagle hangout, surrounded by snowy Takshanuk mountains that feed the river with icy glaciers. During the summer, grizzly bears flock to the river, waiting patiently for salmon. But the younger bears have found a new hobby to kill time. Even herbivores like moose benefit from the plentiful salmon, but the mother bears and their cubs avoid the grizzly males who have other things on their minds. However, there is one lucky animal in the bunch. Everyone is here for the salmon, and the bald eagle is the ultimate fisherman, making the bears look like amateurs. The Chilkat River, a wildlife spectacle. The river is a salmon superhighway, with chum salmon cruising through four times a year. After their final spawn, the fish become a gourmet feast for the hungry bears and eagles. The leftover fish bits help the soil, letting lush plants thrive. But wait, there's more. The river's Canadian beavers are like architects, building dams to keep their lodges flooded. These beavers are the big guys, not like their European cousins. Their flat tails and webbed feet give them superhero water skills. The beaver kits stick with their folks for two years before heading off on their own. The real VIPs of the river are the majestic bald eagles who also make their nests here. With a wingspan up to two and a half meters, they are the rock stars of the bird world. As many as 400 pairs of bald eagles are hanging out in Chilkat State Park all year. In 2017, 80 eagle families counted themselves in. The young uns stick around in the nest for nearly four months before taking off. But hey, Alaska's summer is brief and the northern lights are a majestic signal that winter is coming. The countryside can change overnight and temps plummet to below minus 20 degrees Celsius. The landscape is a real life fairy tale with a curious mist that drapes over the land like a cozy blanket. The waiter is so cold that it freezes over, leaving a magical sight. But what's even more magical is that there's a salmon migration happening right under our noses. Eagles and beers gather around the river waiting for the final migration of the year to begin. The bears will soon be off to their beauty sleep, but the eagles stay wide-eyed and bushy-tailed for this rare sight. The river might look like it's made of ice, but it's not entirely frozen. It's the volcanic activity in the region that keeps the water warm enough for the salmon to spawn. They travel around 40 kilometers upstream, all the way to the ice-free regions, it's like they have their own GPS system. The river meanders like a free-spirited soul flowing past the frozen countryside, only to meet its end as the river of death. Thousands of salmon lay floating in its waters, but their legacy continues as the warm springs keep their cycle of life going. Who knew so much magic was happening right under our noses? The salmon will inevitably perish after spawning as is customary after every salmon run. A promising sign of life for this young eagle, ice-free water and dead fish. Thousands of eagles flock to Chilkat every year, from three to four and a half thousand eagles flock to the Chilkat. This magnificent event is unparalleled anywhere else in the world, and the visitors outnumber the permanent residents by three to one. Many travels from regions hundreds of kilometers away and even some from the state of Washington, which is over 2,000 kilometers away. The main attraction, the salmon, whether it's alive or not, talking about picking out the finest specimens and having sharp claws and a mighty beak as an excellent filleting tool, they have a wide range of options to choose from. This bird can be identified as young due to its brown head and dark beak. The brownish-white spotted underbody indicates that it is at least two years old. 
In the area surrounding the Chilkat River, this young bird has a higher chance of surviving the winter compared to other regions. Many fledglings do not make it through their first winter. It's important to note that eagles do not develop the yellow beak and white head until they reach six years of age. Unlike other areas, eagles here do not have to expend excessive amounts of energy to find food. The elder birds reap the most benefits. The hierarchy is well defined. Fledglings always defer to their elders. The salmon's spawning season is coming to an end and the remaining fish are completely drained. Five to seven years ago, these salmon were born in this area and then swam down the Chilkat into the Pacific to Maturi. Now it's time for them to make the arduous journey back to their birthplace. Unlike their life under the ice sheet, salmon must contend with the presence of eagles once they reach their destination. Their journey to spawn is made even more challenging by the threat of predators. Even if they successfully spawn, their fate is already sealed. These fish have gone without food throughout their entire migration. A fully grown salmon can weigh up to four kilos, which makes them a formidable prey for North America's second largest bird of prey, the bald eagle. However, bald eagles are not the only scavengers in the area. Cheeky ravens are known to swoop in and steal a piece of the action. Surprisingly, the bald eagle is actually more similar to the raven than we might think. While they are skilled hunters and fishers, they also have a knack for scavenging carrion-like ravens. During the winter, animals expend a considerable amount of energy to find food. That's why feeding off carrion seems like a logical choice. This time of year offers a rare opportunity to eat such a large quantity of carrion. However, these days of indulgence are limited. The spawning period is over and the salmon population is thinning out. As a result, the competition among wildlife is intense for the last remaining dead fish. A young eagle makes a daring attack on one of its elder counterparts, but unfortunately fails. The aftermath of the quarrel leaves the raven as the sole beneficiary. Although some birds of prey can digest bones, the bald eagle is not one of them, so a mere bone is hardly a valuable replacement. As winter draws to a close, the bald eagles who have been visiting Chilkat will soon be leaving. However, come spring, melting snow and ice will reveal many deep frozen fish suppers, allowing the bald eagle to once again become the most impressive resident of this unique river that provides it with food and life nearly all year round. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers away in the Dolomites, a mountainous region in the Alps, a similar ecosystem exists. Home to the golden eagle, Europe's largest bird of prey, and its prey, marmots and chamois, the Dolomites is a place that rivals Alaska's Tashana Mountains in many respects. In South Tyrol's Geyser Nature Reserve, the eagles start breeding around mid-March, coinciding with the emergence of the marmots from their burrows after several months of hibernation. The marmots begin their mating rituals almost immediately. They do this to ensure their cubs are large and strong enough before the next winter arrives. The eagles, their greatest enemy, remain a constant threat. The marmots are a significant part of the eagle's diet, making up 60% of its food requirements, followed by ptarmigan, another favorite food. To maintain their camouflage, marmots will soon develop brown plumage to ensure they blend in after the snow melts. Slow and deliberate movements help avoid drawing attention, and their watchful eyes on the skies prolong individual survival. The males have noticeable red eyebrows, while the females have less obvious colors. The golden eagle gets its name from the sun's rays, highlighting its feathers, making them appear golden. Their eyrie is located on the north-facing wall of the Geisel group at an altitude of 2,000 meters. The eagle lays an average of one to three eggs, and the female has laid two in this case. The alpine chamois has distinct roles between males and females, as the female broods while the male hunts and provides food. However, some sightings suggest that the roles can be reversed. These animals utilize thermal upwinds while scavenging for prey or carrion. The females have an impressive wingspan of over 2 meters 20, while the males are smaller. The alpine ibex, 
another wild goat species found in the Alps, coexists alongside the chamois. Unlike the chamois, the ibex does not have to worry about the eagle, as even the smaller females are too large for the bird of prey. However, this changes when the next kids are born. The females tend to live apart from the males and come together only during the mating season in winter. The goats prefer steep slopes, which are abundant in the Dolomites, where eagles find it challenging to attack. After one and a half months, a single eagle chick hatches, as the eggs are laid one after the other and do not hatch at the same time. It seems as if the second egg was not fertilized. In bird families, the male parent is responsible for hunting and gathering food, which is then brought back to the nest for the female and chick. As for the female, her role is to tear the food into appropriately sized pieces, which can be challenging due to the chick's size. This task requires careful attention and practice to master. Maneuvering around the small space where the mother and chick reside can also be a challenge, as the mother must be careful not to harm the featherweight chick and six kilo mother. Another crucial responsibility for the mother is to keep the chick warm at regular intervals. As the chick grows, the mother can leave the nest more frequently to help hunt for food. As spring gradually fades into early summer, the mountain meadows become breathtakingly beautiful. This is also the time when chamois give birth to their kids. These little goats quickly develop impressive sure-footedness that allows them to navigate the treacherous mountain terrain. Although the bond between mother and child is still strong, the babies soon grow too large to be safe from the watchful eyes of eagles. These predators are particularly dangerous for young chamois that venture too far from their mothers. Meanwhile, the eagles themselves are growing and developing. The seven-week-old chick is already developing its fleet and covert feathers, although it's still quite wobbly and falls can be fatal. The mother has to bring in larger prey to satisfy its growing appetite. As summer draws to an end, the parents will have to hunt more frequently to keep up with the chick's increasing demands. The eaglet is now two and a half months old and is vigorously exercising its flight muscles. It will soon be time for it to leave the airy and hunt on its own, although the parents will continue to feed it for a while longer. The Dolomites provide a stunning backdrop for this young eagle's journey to independence as it soars majestically through the skies, one of the most impressive creatures in the region. The eagle is such a fascinating bird and a master hunter, isn't it? Please drop your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.